Drawings can be created from both a part or an assembly. Lesson 3 Drawings is the first exploration into how drawings work. In this lesson, you will learn how to create an individual part drawing and an assembly drawing. Click New. Select Drawing from the Templates tab. Click OK. The Model View Property Manager is displayed and a sheet format appears in the Graphics window. Click Cancel from the Model View Property Manager. Right click in the Sheet Format area and select Edit Sheet Format. There are two modes in SOLIDWORKS Drawing, Sheet Format and Sheet. Double click on the company name text and enter your company name. In this case, I entered SOLIDWORKS Corporation. Zoom in on the text. Notice how the text does not fit in the block. You can click and drag and move the text or change the height in the formatting box. Click anywhere outside the text box to end the text or click OK from the Note Property Manager. Right click in the graphics area and click Edit Sheet. Click File and select Save Sheet Format. This is different than a drawing. The sheet format contains the title block information. Notice the different file extension for sheet format, .sldDRT. I entered A Landscape for my sheet format name. Click Next. Click the Options tab from the Standards toolbar. The document properties for a drawing contains information about the dimensioning standard, notes, arrows, units. Under the Detailing tab, you can select ISO or ANSI standard. You can also select leading zeros to be removed. And this is required when dealing with particular standards. In the next area, I selected the annotation font. By default, I want the dimension text to be a specific height. So I click on Dimension and set the size from 6.25 and control it through points. Enter 12 under the Points box. Click OK for Choose Font. Click OK from the Document Properties Manager. Open the document Tutor 1. Tutor 1 is a part. You created Tutor 1 in Lesson 1. Click Window, select Drawing Sheet 1. Click Model View. Since Tutor 1 is an open part document, it is listed in the Open Documents box. Click the blue arrow. Select Front for Orientation. Change the Custom Scale to 1 to 4. And make certain that Projection is checked for Dimension Type. As you place the front view down in the left side of the drawing sheet, the top view and the right view are automatically projected. You can also place an isometric view at a 45 degree angle. Click Next. The drawing views can be moved with respect to one another. Let's insert dimensions. Click Annotations. Click Model Items. Select Entire Model for the source. Import items into all views and click the green check mark. The dimensions are inserted. These are the dimensions that you created in the part. Click Next. Now you're required to move the dimensions. Zoom in on Drawing View 1 and click and drag the dimensions off the profile. Press the green dots to flip the arrows to the inside. The dimensioning standard utilized in the tutorials is ISO. In an ANSI standard, the arrowheads are filled and blackened. The text appears above the line for an ISO standard. For an ANSI standard, the text will appear between the lines. 